birthday. And if you've been wondering, yeah, you gotta go back about a month, January 17th. That was the day. Uh, a month before that, we only had less than two inches of snow. We had 11 days with snow during that time period from Dece December 17th through January 16th. Then, yeah, somebody flipped the switch, turned the dial, and cranked down the snow machine because January 17th through today, we have had almost 30 inches of snow within 31 days. Yeah, it has been unrelenting. Only seven of those days we have witnessed no snowflakes falling in the last month, so it has just been a rough 31 days and even the past seven days we only really had one day of melting so those giant snow piles that we got from that Tuesday storm system only went down a little bit and of course uh, with temperatures that were on the cold side today we've been watching some refreezing and so of course it still continues to be on the cold side and that snow not going anywhere we are getting more and we're running out of places to put it right now though folks in Slinger at Little Switzerland are excited for the snow 21 degrees wind chills in the teens for many of us but there are people who enjoy the snow. A lot of snowmobilers getting super excited for more snow for tomorrow. Overnight tonight, temperatures not going to fall a whole lot, only into the low to mid 20s. Flurries are possible basically between now and about 4 o'clock in the morning. After 4 a.m., we'll start to watch the more moderate snow showers start, especially down to the southwest, becoming much more widespread as we go into your Sunday morning. So winter weather advisories have been posted. They begin overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. They will continue until the very early hours of Monday morning. Commute. I do expect the majority of the snow to have tapered on off by that time. There's a chance, though, for some lake effect snow, and that's why that advisory lingers a little bit longer. Some of those heavier bands, though, pushing through Iowa at the moment, so we are continuing to watch that getting closer and closer to us as far as when this snow is going to arrive again after about 4 o'clock in the morning in our western county. So Jefferson, Lake Geneva, you could see that as early as 4 o'clock in the morning. Again, a few flurries possible before then, but the main band of snow makes it into Milwaukee by about 7 a.m., becoming much more widespread by about 9 o'clock. And at the noon hour, we're going to be looking at widespread moderate snow. And notice the wind. It will be a bit on the breezy side from the east northeast. So we'll talk about some blowing snow as well. It's going to be that light and fluffy stuff even at 530 tomorrow, still snowing at a decent pace. By about 8, 9 o'clock, just some lake snow is going to be lingering. And because of that northeasterly wind, that's where those snow totals are going to be higher because of some lake enhancement. You can even see that lake effect ban as late as Monday morning. But most of that will have pushed out over Lake Michigan. Monday evening looking a lot better. How much snow are we talking? Lighter amounts up to the north and to the west. Fond du Lac and Beaver Dam about a trace to two inches of light and fluffy snow. Sheboygan down through West Bend, Waukesha, Conemwalk, Whitewater, down through uh, Walworth County, J Lake Geneva, about two to four inches. And then it did expand the heavier band of four to five inches of snow into uh, basically up to Port Washington, Oostburg, down through Grafton, Mequon, Milwaukee, down through Racine and Kenosha, four to five inches of that light and fluffy snow. Yes, yeah, polar bear weather and going on tomorrow at the Milwaukee County Zoo, the polar plunge where you're going to find our own Vince Vitrano jumping in for a good cause to help support Special Olympics. It's going to feel and look like polar bear weather with temperatures stuck in the 20s tomorrow, but that's why it's that light and fluffy snow that hopefully you'll be able to just use a broom at least for your cars. I think you'll need the shovel, especially along the lakefront. Then it does get better Monday afternoon. You may even see a spot of sun, a lot more sunshine expected on your Tuesday. Light snow possible on Wednesday with a high of 33, but temps increasing after that chance of snow with a high of 40 and even some rain by Saturday.